It's simple. Wanting to be the best is what's always consumed me. It's just the way it's always been. I've never cared that I wasn't born with any extraordinary skills or talents, and I could have cared less that I was shorter than just about anyone, my wingspan normal, and my build just ordinary. But it's always been so clear to me. I've always known what I wanted, and I refuse to let that dream go. As a little kid, sports was a way of life. I would just go from practice to practice to practice and repeat that every day. But it wasn't until my early teens where a particular sport resonated with me. Being such a competitive and internally motivated individual, you always flock to what challenges you most. That thing that you wake up for in the morning, and swimming was just that. Competing in the water makes hours seem like minutes, and every moment of every second I'm racing in that pool, I'm in my element. That desire to win, that craving to come in first, it never mattered to me what it took, because I'd just do it. It started off with little things that as a kid are larger than life goals. Winning state, state records, and hoping all that would lead to the next level, which was college swimming. That desire to be great and persist led to Olympic trials and NCAA championships, and the ability to never settle for mediocrity made world championship teams and national records a reality. Now I've never been so close to where I wanted to be my whole life, that last thing left on the slate, making it to the most prestigious athletic event on this earth. The Olympic Games. The sport is romanticized by few. Millions of yards in the pool, thousands of hours weightlifting and dryland training, waking up and finishing practice every day before the sun even rises, or any normal human being would even think about getting out of bed. Pushing yourself to complete exhaustion on a daily basis where on some days you can't move and at times you can't even breathe. Then you repeat that over and over again. And all of that for sometimes just tenths of a second. The reality of all this work is little fame, even less money, and your accomplishments, well those will be noticed by few. The only true fulfillment comes from within, and eventually you begin to discover the why behind your madness. Every ounce of energy, every moment, and every inch is fought to win that ever intangible victory within. When you don't have to receive a penny to do what you do, that's when you discover your passion and you begin to figure out the person you really are. I get asked often, what will I do if I don't make it? What will I do if I fail? And those outcomes, they just don't scare me. But not trying, that terrifies me. I refuse to be the person 20 years down the road who faces regret dead in the eye. I would never be able to live with myself. I don't know if I'll make it. No one ever does until that day arrives. But knowing I prepared for that one moment and gave everything, and I mean everything, to get myself to that position, well, that's good enough for me.